it's very likely that the recipe you're trying to double might contain a mixed number, such as one and a quarter cup or two and a half cups. We're going to look at two different ways you can double a mixed number. The first method has us deal with the, the whole number and the fraction separately. We'll double the whole number, we'll double the fraction, and then we're going to add them together. In method two, we'll change the mixed number to an improper fraction. Then we're gonna double the improper fraction and change it back to a mixed number. In both cases, you'll wanna make sure that you reduced your fractions. Let's use each of these methods to double one and a half cups. In the first method, I'm going to double each part. So one cup times two and half cup times two. One cup times two gives us two cups. You may remember what one half is double, or you can write it out as a multiplication, one half times two over one. That gives us two over two, or one. So one half cup times two is one cup. Now we'll add those together. Two cups plus one cup equals three cups. Let's try the second method. First, we're going to start by changing one and a half cups into an improper fraction. In order to change into an improper fraction, start by thinking about how many halves are in one cup. I am taking the whole number and making it into a fraction. So one cup is equal to two out of two. But I want one and a half cups. That means one cup, two out of two, plus one out of two is going to be my mixed number, or my improper fraction, three over two. Now we're ready to double three, out of, three over two. We're going to take three halves times two over one, multiply across the top, three times two is six, two times one is two, Six halves, or six divided by two, gives us three cups. Let's try another one. We're going to use both methods to double two and three quarters cups. Again, start with the whole number. Two cups times two equals four cups. Now we'll double the fraction. Three fourths times two. We'll multiply three fourths times two over one. Multiply straight across the top. Three times two is six. Four times one is four. I notice that's an improper fraction. I need to change that into a mixed number. Four goes into six one time. So I have one as a whole number. Then I still have two fourths left. I can reduce two fourths. They're both divisible by two. That equals one and one half. So two cups doubled was four cups. Three fourths cups doubled is one and a half cups. Now I'll add them together. Four cups plus one and a half cups equals five and a half cups. Let's do the same problem with our other method. First, we'll change our whole number into fourths. So if I took two holes and cut it into four pieces, I would have eight parts. So two cups equals eight over four. That means two and three fourths cups would be equal to eight fourths plus three fourths or 11 fourths. Now let's double 11 fourths. So 11 fourths times two over one. 11 times two is 22. Four times one is four. Again, I have an improper fraction. Four goes into 22 five times because five times four is 20. That means I have two out of four left. Two out of four is one half. So you'll notice again, we got five and a half cups.